Matlock, the legal drama series starring Andy Griffith, marked another high point in the veteran actor's illustrious television career. Known for his earlier role as Sheriff Andy Taylor in The Andy Griffith Show, Griffith shifted gears with Matlock when it premiered on NBC in 1986. Throughout its nine-season run, Matlock gained popularity for its compelling legal battles and its lead's endearing personality, drawing viewers in as he helped his clients navigate complex cases or face justice. The show featured a robust cast of regular, recurring, and guest stars, many of whom continue to be active in the industry today. Sadly, over time, some of these actors have passed away, but their contributions to Matlock and the world of television are enduring legacies. As we reflect on the series and the actors who brought these memorable characters to life, let's celebrate their talent and the mark they left on the world of entertainment. Andy Griffith In the acclaimed TV series, Matlock, Andy Griffith stars as Ben Matlock, a seasoned defense attorney renowned for his unwavering pursuit of justice and strong ethical compass. His meticulous approach to each case and sharp instincts often lead him to uncover critical evidence and unexpected angles in legal battles. Matlock's perseverance and quick wit help him navigate complex challenges, resulting in intense and gripping courtroom drama. Beyond his legal prowess, Matlock's genuine care for his clients and ability to form close personal relationships earned him the respect and admiration of his community. In addition to his work in comedy monologues in the 1950s, Griffith recorded an album of upbeat country and gospel music during his time on The Andy Griffith Show. He later released successful albums of classic Christian hymns, including I Love to Tell the Story, 25 Timeless Hymns, 1996, which won the Grammy Award for Best Southern Gospel, Country or Bluegrass Album. Andy Griffith passed away on July 3, 2012, at his home on Roanoke Island in Manteo, North Carolina, at the age of 86. His death was attributed to a heart attack and underlying health conditions, including hypertension, coronary artery disease, and high cholesterol. Don Knotts Don Knotts plays Les Calhoun, a character who adds a lighthearted and entertaining element to the show. Les is a small-town businessman with a friendly, easygoing demeanor. While his occasional absent-mindedness often leads him into amusing situations, he remains a kind-hearted and helpful person. Knott's chemistry with Ben Matlock injects humor into the series, providing moments of levity amid the intense legal battles. His performance as Les Calhoun highlights Knott's renowned comedic talent, making him a beloved and memorable character on the show. Knott's is also known for his iconic role as Deputy Barney Fife on The Andy Griffith Show, which aired from 1960 to 1968. His portrayal of Fife earned him five Emmy Awards for Best Supporting Actor in a Television Comedy and remains a beloved character in television history. Knotts passed away on February 24, 2006, at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles due to pulmonary and respiratory complications of pneumonia, a condition linked to lung cancer. He was 81 years old. Although he received medical treatment in the months leading up to his death, Knotts eventually returned home, where he spent his final days. He is laid to rest at Westwood Memorial Park in Los Angeles. David Froman L.T. David Froman played Bob Brooks, a recurring character in the legal drama series, Matlock. Bob Brooks, a dedicated officer with the Atlanta Police Department, was a reliable ally to the show's lead, Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith. His role showcased his exceptional investigative skills and strong working relationship with Matlock contributing crucial insights from the police department to solve challenging cases. Brooks was portrayed as a professional and trustworthy figure, earning respect from the cast and audience alike. Aside from his television career, Froman had a significant impact on the arts in Miami, Oklahoma, where he was a drama instructor at Northeastern Oklahoma A&M College and president of Miami Little Theater. He also performed on stage in multiple productions. Unfortunately, Froman passed away on February 8, 2010, due to cancer, leaving behind a legacy in both the television and local theater communities at the age of 71. Warren Frost In Matlock, Warren Frost portrayed Billy Lewis, a character known for his southern charm and humor, which added a lively and engaging dynamic to the show. As a longtime friend of Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith, Billy's deep local roots and connections proved invaluable in assisting Matlock with complex legal cases. 
His down-to-earth demeanor and close rapport with Matlock added warmth and camaraderie to the series, making him a memorable and beloved character. Beyond his work on Matlock, Frost had a diverse career, teaching at the University of Minnesota and serving as artistic director of the Chimera Theater in St. Paul. He appeared in a small but noteworthy role in the film adaptation of Slaughterhouse 5, 1972. Filmed in the Minneapolis area. Additionally, Frost played Henry Ross, father of Susan Ross and potential in-law of George Costanza, in the iconic television series, Seinfeld. His on-screen wife on Seinfeld was portrayed by his Twin Peaks co-star Grace Zabriskie. Frost passed away at his home in Middlebury, Vermont, on February 17, 2017, at the age of 91, after a long illness. Lucille Meredith Lucille Meredith's performance as Judge Irene Sawyer brought a commanding and impartial presence to the legal drama series. Her character was known for her strong sense of authority and dedication to justice, often presiding over cases involving Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith. Meredith's portrayal of Sawyer showed a tough, no-nonsense judge who balanced respect for Matlock's legal skills with a firm approach to courtroom proceedings. This balance added authenticity and depth to the show's depiction of the legal system. Outside of Matlock, Meredith had a steady career in television and film, appearing in notable shows such as Barney Miller and Charlie's Angels, as well as in movies like John Carpenter's They Live and Airport 1975. Matlock was one of her final acting roles before she retired, with her last appearance in Night Court in 1991 and 1992. Meredith was married to Roland Kibbe, a film and television writer and producer who co-directed her in the 1974 horror film, The Midnight Man. She passed away on May 1, 2004, in Los Angeles. Anita Corsat Judge Cynthia Justin in Matlock elevated the show's courtroom scenes with her thoughtful and fair approach to the law. As she presided over a variety of cases involving Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith, Corsat's intelligent performance brought depth and insight to the character. She adeptly navigated complex legal issues, upholding justice with a calm and steady demeanor. Judge Justin's relationship with Matlock was one of mutual respect and admiration, offering a unique perspective on his cases and often challenging him in court. This dynamic added an extra layer of richness to the show and showcased the complexity of legal proceedings. Beyond Matlock, Corsat also played nurse Jesse Brewer on General Hospital in 1977, stepping in for Emily McLaughlin during her illness. Additionally, she co-authored the Mystery Readers quiz book and maintained an interest in writing. Corsat's career was impactful in both television and literature, leaving a lasting legacy. She passed away from cancer on November 6, 1995, in Los Angeles and was laid to rest in Valhalla Memorial Park Cemetery in North Hollywood. Ron Karabatsos Ron Karabatsos stars as Dave Christopher in the legal drama, Matlock, playing an Atlanta police detective who works closely with Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith. Christopher was known for his direct approach and unwavering commitment to his job providing Matlock with key evidence and insights that were vital to solving cases. Karabatsos brought experience and professionalism to the role, making Christopher a pragmatic and effective member of the team. The partnership between Christopher and Matlock underscored the importance of collaboration between law enforcement and legal professionals, with mutual respect evident in their work together. Karabatsos' performance added depth and authenticity to the series' crime-solving aspects, contributing to a more immersive viewing experience. Beyond Matlock, Karabatsos had a prolific career, appearing in about 30 films and 200 television shows. He starred in the 1982 TV movie, Here Number Evil, as Lieutenant Lou Healy. Karabatsos passed away on April 17, 2012, in Beaumont, California, just before his 79th birthday, due to a non-communicable disease. Tommy Lister Jr. Playing a prison guard brings a strong and authoritative presence to the film's prison scenes. His role was marked by his serious demeanor and imposing appearance, which added tension and a sense of danger to the episodes set within the prison environment. Lister's character helped to shape the atmosphere, providing a sense of realism and authenticity to the show's prison-focused storylines. In addition to his work on Matlock, Lister's film career included a notable role as bailiff Winston in Quentin Tarantino's film Jackie Brown, 
and he lent his voice to the animated film Zootopia as Finnick the Fennec Fox. His versatility extended to commercials, such as his appearance for the Ballpark Beef Jerky brand in 2016. Lister's impact on film was recognized when he won the Best Featured Star Award at the Orlando Urban Film Festival in 2014 for his performance in No Weapon Formed Against Us. Sadly, he passed away on December 10, 2020, at his home in Marina del Rey, California, at the age of 62. While initial reports suspected COVID-19, his final autopsy revealed that his death was due to hypertension and heart disease. David Carradine Mazarowski, a wealthy businessman, becomes embroiled in a complex legal case that puts him in direct contact with Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith. Carradine infused Mazarowski with a confident and shrewd personality, offering a contrast to Matlock's more straightforward approach. His character was a blend of ambition and vulnerability, revealing layers as he interacted with Matlock, enhancing the show's engaging and suspenseful narrative. Beyond his work on Matlock, Carradine had a multifaceted career as both an actor and musician. He played various instruments and even performed songs in the 1970 Ironside episode titled The Quincons. He released a music album called Grasshopper in 1975. Carradine's versatility extended his impact in the entertainment world. Tragically, Carradine was found dead on June 3, 2009, in his hotel room in Bangkok at the age of 72. His death was initially suspected to be suicide, but further investigation determined the cause as accidental suffocation. The spread of graphic photos from the scene sparked widespread outrage and an FBI investigation. Seymour Castle Seymour Castle brought the character of Dick Silvers to life in Matlock with a distinctive and memorable presence that left a lasting impact on the series. Silvers was known for his smooth talking, shrewd personality, and frequent entanglements in legal matters. Castle's nuanced performance captured Silver's complexity, portraying him with charm and wit as he navigated the show's intricate plotlines. Silver's interactions with Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith, highlighted his sharp mind and multifaceted personality, fostering a mix of mutual respect and occasional tension between the two characters. Castle's portrayal added depth to the series by showcasing a character capable of holding his own in legal battles. Contributing to dynamic and unpredictable courtroom scenes, his performance elevated the overall suspense and drama of the show's legal cases. Beyond Matlock, Castle was recognized for his broader acting career, including an Academy Award nomination for his role in Faces and collaborations with director John Cassavetes. Castle passed away on April 7, 2019, at the age of 84, due to Alzheimer's disease. Jeff Conaway Jeff Conaway portrayed Daniel Ward, a character who added intrigue and complexity to the show's plot. Ward was known for his charisma and intelligence, often becoming embroiled in the series' legal puzzles. Conaway's performance skillfully highlighted the nuances of Ward's personality, navigating the character's multifaceted nature with ease. Ward's interactions with Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith, showcased a dynamic relationship between the two. Matlock's straightforward and principled approach often contrasted with Ward's more ambiguous and strategic behavior, creating tension and suspense. Conaway's portrayal of Ward was marked by a sharp mind and strategic thinking, making him a standout figure in the show's legal battles. Beyond acting, Conaway had a passion for music and was involved in the rock band The Three and a Half during the mid-1960s, recording several singles. He also released his self-titled debut album in 1979 and a later album, It Don't Make Sense You Can't Make Peace, in 2000. Sadly, Conaway passed away on May 26, 2011, at the age of 60. His death was attributed to addiction, and an autopsy revealed he died of various causes including aspiration pneumonia and encephalopathy due to a drug overdose. Art Lafleur Art Lafleur portrayed Buck Rahal, a character who brought a distinct and memorable presence to the show. Known for his rugged demeanor and direct approach, Rahal's character stood out as one of the more intriguing figures in the series. Lafleur's performance added a layer of depth and realism to Rahal, making him a standout addition to the show's cast. Rahal's interactions with Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith, highlighted their contrasting styles. While Rahal was direct and no-nonsense, Matlock took a more methodical and calculated approach. Lafleur's portrayal of Rahal brought a sense of grit and tenacity to the character, contributing to the intensity and suspense in the series' courtroom scenes.
Beyond his role in Matlock, LaFleur's versatile acting career extended to playing baseball legend Babe Ruth and Chick Gandal. A member of the infamous 1919 Black Sox team, his hometown professional baseball team, the Gary South Shore Railcats, honored him with a special pitching ceremony on July 20, 2019. LaFleur's passing on November 17, 2021, from atypical Parkinson's disease at the age of 78. Buddy Bryan Buddy Bryan played a police officer whose character significantly contributed to the show's legal investigations. Known for his professionalism and attention to detail, Bryan's portrayal was instrumental in aiding the lead character. Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith. As an officer, Bryan's character provided valuable evidence and insights that often proved pivotal in helping Matlock solve complex cases. Bryan's performance offered an authentic representation of law enforcement, emphasizing his dedication to his role and his collaborative rapport with Matlock. Their interactions highlighted a strong working relationship founded on mutual respect and trust, enriching the series' legal drama. His role provided depth and credibility to the series, making him a respected and essential part of the Matlock ensemble. Beyond his role in Matlock, Brian was known for his work in The Astral Factor, 1978, and Startime, 1959. He passed away on January 8, 1997, in Los Angeles, California. Leo Penn Father Fitzgerald's character added depth and dimension to the series, offering spiritual guidance and support to the other characters. Penn's performance highlighted the calm demeanor and strong moral compass of the character, making Father Fitzgerald a respected and trusted presence. Father Fitzgerald's interactions with Ben Matlock, portrayed by Andy Griffith, introduced a nuanced dynamic to the show. His wise counsel and empathetic approach provided Matlock with invaluable support during difficult moments, enriching the narrative and adding emotional depth. Penn's dedication to portraying the character's faith and community focus added warmth and humanity to the series. Outside of Matlock, Penn had a distinguished career in film and television as an actor and director. With credits including Ben Casey and The Mississippi, he was married to Eileen Ryan and Olive Deering. Penn passed away on September 5, 1998, in Los Angeles, California. John Harkins Koskoff character, known for his assertive and determined demeanor, often found himself in challenging legal cases that put him in direct opposition to Ben Matlock, portrayed by Andy Griffith. Harkin's portrayal emphasized Koskoff's sharp intellect and strategic approach, making him a compelling adversary in the courtroom. Harkin's performance brought a sense of intrigue to the role, portraying Koskoff as a tenacious attorney who could effectively challenge Matlock's legal prowess. This dynamic heightened the suspense and drama of the show's courtroom scenes. His character's legal battles with Matlock added excitement and high stakes to the story, showcasing the competitive and complex nature of the legal world. Harkin's performance lent depth and authenticity to the role, enhancing the show's appeal and impact. Harkin's career extended beyond Matlock, with one of his last on-screen appearances in the 1996 HBO film Crime of the Century. He passed away on March 5, 1999, in Portola Valley, California. Anne Haney Aunt Elsie was a beloved family member of Ben Matlock, played by Andy Griffith, and her kind, caring demeanor made her a heartwarming and relatable figure in the series. Haney's portrayal brought a sense of authenticity to Aunt Elsie, showcasing her wisdom and gentle advice as she interacted with Matlock and other characters. Haney's contributions as Aunt Elsie were essential to the show's overall tone, grounding the drama with a sense of home and family. Beyond her role in Matlock, Haney had a successful career in television and film, known for her versatility and talent as an actress. She appeared in notable films such as Mrs. Doubtfire, 1993, The American President, 1995, Liar Liar, 1997, Forces of Nature, 1999, and The Out of Towners, 1999. Haney passed away from congestive heart failure at the age of 67 at her home in Studio City. Los Angeles, California, on May 26, 2001. Thank you for joining me in this tribute to the actors of Matlock. Please share your favorite memories of the series and the cast in the comments below, as we celebrate their lives and the characters they brought to life. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.